Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another unboxing video. It's nectar, but I've done this one. So this is recycled from 1975. This is a five CD set from Esoteric. So let's dive in and have a look. Nectar recycled, a five CD box set from Esoteric. Uh, not the first time that Nectar have appeared on the Now Spinning Magazine channel and website, and it certainly won't be the last. Um, at first glance, for those of you who are fairly new to the band, it will look as if everything's completely changed since things like a tab in the ocean with only two tracks, for instance, or three tracks, um, because of, you know, you've got 11 tracks on, on this, but it's not. The album just flows from one to the other. It is another concept album from 1975. Five CDs, there's no gatefolds or anything. Um, we've got, a, well, I'll tell you what which ones that they are, but you've got a new mix and you've got a remastered original mix. And then you've got a live concert from May 76 in Canada. And then you've got a two CD um, live concert from Long Island in July 1976 as well. All the tracks are on the back of the box. The booklet is fairly substantial. Well, the full essays from the band talking about how the album came together, um, which is really interesting. Um, it's, it's done from two separate perspectives. Derek and Mike talk in January 2024. And then you've got another perspective coming in here with some great pictures as well. Lots and lots of detail. There's lots of pictures and that's Mark Powell's version. And then you've got the credits at the back um for each disc for the original and the remaster new mix and the live stuff as well which is really really good um and you've got the original um credits for this whole box set remastered from original tapes from ben wiseman um it's really really excellent put together and they've even included the lyrics as well so now i shall give you an overview of what I think of the package itself. Recycled by Nectar, five CD set, Esoteric Records. I was not familiar with this album. I was familiar with Tab in the Ocean, which I've got on a two CD set, by the way, and I've got other things by the band as well. And obviously I'd reviewed this one, but this album, I wasn't. And when I looked at the back and it says all these, you know, 11 tracks, I thought, this is different when normally with um, with kind of Nectar albums, it will say there's two songs, part one and part two or three tracks, maybe. But 11 songs, oh, it's must, they must have been morphing into a different type of band at this stage with shorter tracks. Uh, no, um, all the all the tracks segue from one to the other. So it just it just plays like one long composition um it's a concept album about the state of the planet and the fact that what humans are doing to it and how we're destroying the world's resources and environments and here we are in 2024 and this is 1975 um it's fantastic the booklet tells the story about how the band remember we may not know much about them in the uk and some of you watching this may not know about much about them now but in germany and the us they were band were doing incredibly well this is a band that was real prog progressive rock the world might have been changing but the record label was getting more confident and so when they first recorded this um they went they finished it off in london where they added choirs you know, literally full backing, full massive production job on it. And it sounds incredible. Um, you've got a remaster and you've got the original um, mix is also remastered. Which one is best? Well, the thing is with box sets like this is you have them both. So you can just play as in, as and what you like. I would also just add about the live stuff. I'm always suspicious about someone discovering live material after all these years. Is it? Is it an audience recording? Is it a bootleg? It's not. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. They're basically, there's two sources for the concerts. Toronto, 26th of May, 76, and Long Island, USA, 24th of July, 1976. Both of them are could easily be official live concerts, especially the second one. The only thing I'd say is on the second one is, on the start of each CD, the, the songs fade in. Now, whether that's because the there was issues with the beginning of the tape or the way that they've tried to segue from one thing to the other. But you can hear everything. Everything is crystal clear. The, 
the performances um tab in the ocean on disc cd4 is fantastic um the the playing is brilliant um it's a great album and it's the last one with the original lineup um before things started to change um but it's uh, it's very i feel very important part of the nectar canon and if you're into 70s uk prog and you and i know a lot of you thanks to this channel so you've said have been introduced to lots of bands you missed out on first or second time around so this is another one to add to your list streaming get a feel for it but it really is good that's nectar recycled five cd set and now esoteric cherry red thank you for watching thank you for being here please support now spinning magazine become a patron or a youtube member and remember music is the healer and the doctor please take care keep spinning those discs and i shall see you all very very soon